Oh, <laughs> yeah, we are. We're right here, freaking at the freakers balling, and and I, I'm like discombobulated, uh, forgetting what the hell I'm doing. Didn't even send out the tweets or nothing. Um, <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, anyway, <laughs> how the hell y'all doing out there on this uh, fine Friday night, August twenty fourth, two thousand eighteen. Right here on RealLibertyMedia.com. Yeah, that's where we're at. And uh, we're on channel one there for the Freakers Balls, in case you uh having trouble finding it. But we're here. We're here. And uh, so come on over. Say hi, hi and howdy and all that wonderful stuff to all the folks that are here. And also welcome to all the people in the various other places that we are being broadcast on RLMRadio.xyz. Over there on Minds.com, on uh, FreedomsNetwork.com. Yes, it's still alive, although you may have heard me say last week that that would be the last Friday. Yeah, it, that that didn't quite happen. The uh, <laughs> the site got moved off to a new server, so that's uh, that's all cool right there. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's there right now, and uh, oh yes, we have a brand new social network called RealLiberty.org. Um, compliments of Anthony Jordan. Yeah, Aunt Geo. So I'm not sure how Anthony Jordan switches to Aunt Geo, but it apparently it does. So, um... <laughs> no, new servers are great, Ben. Um, oh, look at these people saying happy birthday to me. Thanks, guys. Um... I, I, Thank you to Cyborg Needle and Wanna Taco, New Needle, Noodle, <laughs> and Wanna Taco. And uh, are we online here? Did I go online, by the way? Yeah, I'm streaming. All right. <laughs> oh, Geo may relate to his middle name. Okay. All right. Uh, anyway, <laughs> welcome to all the folks at all those new places. If you're not a member there over on realliberty.org, you might want to check it out. It, it's 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 worthy. It's worthy of us. So uh, yeah, check it out over there. RealLiberty.org. Cool new social network on a cool new platform that you probably have not used before, but it does a lot of neat little things. And uh, yeah, so check it out. Check it out. Check it out. And um, right here now, live with me on the Frickers Ball program is me, Moose Girl. The Madam Moose. Yes, how you doing, Moose? Hey, happy birthday, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's my birthday. I'm doing good, <laughs> but happy birthday to you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. you're welcome. You made it in the, around the yeah, rotation yeah, you know, around the sun. I, I was thinking about that earlier today, because we yeah. get to say that twice a year. Right. And even though, at one point, we haven't made it around. Well, I guess we have. From that point. Well, you say Happy New Year? Yeah, well, I mean, well, yeah, Happy New Year. So that's, you made it another year, but now it's your birthday. Right. You made it another year. You actually <laughs> made it another year on your birthday. Right. Exactly. Uh, so, yeah. A anyway. <laughs> so play those songs that I requested for your birthday, please. Oh, I will. I'll get to them. Okay. I mean, you're the, you know, it's weird because, like, they, you're they, the they, controller, they, so I can't really, like, surprise you with the thoughts. Yeah, they don't. They don't have to be. They don't have to be first up or nothing like that. So. No, they don't. Yeah, no, it's yeah. all good, right? <laughs> but anyway, hey, congrats for another year, dude. Well, thanks, Moose. I appreciate Hope it. You make you know. another one. No, another another four months will be your turn. It will be. Don't remind me. Yeah, uh, yeah. Coming up quick. It's, time goes so fast. I swear to you, it speeds up the older you get. Time speeds up. It, it do. I swear it does. I it, swear it does. All right. It seems like it does. I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I haven't scientifically proven this, but it seems like time speeds up the older you get. It does. Well, it's a downhill slide, you know. Do you get that feeling, though? You're, like, you're, 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 you're you on know. the downhill slide. Right. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Slide. Here, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're on the uphill climb. Right. From when you're born till you get like eighteen. <laughs> All right. Or, no, 25. <laughs> all right. We'll go 25. Okay. It, 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 it all depends on what you do, you know. Like if you're right, like, right, right. If you're like right. still in school or something like that, all those years, then yeah, that's right. you're you're still crawling to you know to the top there. But 
Once you get past that, everything starts starts speeding up a little bit, a little bit like a right. like a like and a train like out of control. Downhill. Like say, it goes downhill. Yeah, and then it just uh, that speed just keeps accumulating. Right, and it's easier Zoop. to go downhill than it is to go uphill. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you know, isn't it awesome to get older? You know, hey, well, fuck I, it. I, I, wh- 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 whether it's still picking, you're doing something right. Uh, wh- wh- whether it be awesome or not, it it is gonna keep on happening. It keeps on keeping on until it's not supposed to anymore, right? Oh. Yeah, sock. That would probably be cool. I didn't save the link. <laughs> I, I I I listened to that video, and um, that probably would be good information um, for people to know, since we play the vid every week. Yes, we do. Um, it's our closing song. Yeah, but it was like a behind the scenes about about how uh, about Ram Jam and how they wound up doing oh. Black Betty and the oh, okay. trials, oh, nice. their trials That's and the tribulations. History. The history of the song. Well, in a way, but more of a history of them and the song. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to know. I mean, do I want... Well, no, it was, I want to know or uh, it, it was interesting. It was interesting. It was certainly interesting. Oh, okay. You know, the, All right. uh, that. And, and I also, I, I came across a video today sometime uh, uh, about uh, Beth Hart and what, what she'd been through and, and how she wound up being where she is now and how she is. She, apparently she's, she's uh, amazing. Su- suffers from uh, severe bipolar disorder. Oh, really? Wow. And, um, okay. Yeah. So that was interesting. I didn't, I don't, I don't know if I saved that one either. Let me see here. I mean, let me check my list here. You know, when you're a human being, you can suffer from some disorders once in a while. I guess the problem is when it becomes a chronic disorder, right? Well, you know, be, like, yeah. Well, she was she, the way the way she was talking about it was, she had bipolar disorder, but she didn't really know it so much because, right, she did a lot of drugs. Right. <laughs> and, and, yeah, yeah. And, and so, whenever she would have some kind of an episode uh, relating yeah. to to being bipolar, she would attribute right. it to the drugs. Well, she right because she would, you would one would assume that oh all your problems are from the drugs right, right. but yeah. then, then right. apparently she did a, a thing uh, at the uh, Kennedy Honors deal with Buddy okay. Guy with Buddy Guy there and yeah. um, something changed her around and she got she got she got out of the drug thing and then uh, some time after that she had a, a, another one of those episodes those bipolar episodes. Right. And she realized, oh, maybe it's not the dregs. Right. <laughs> but so. what I'm saying is, though, there's a there's a human element. I mean, okay, so with this big pharma crap and all the, you know, so there's all these issues and these maladies that people suffer and these emotional things, and bipolar is a real thing. But I'm saying there's also, also a natural element where you're not necessarily bipolar, but you're a human being. You're going to experience emotions and sadness and Blah blah blah, right? Right. But so when when it, something becomes like a disorder, then the problem has become with big pharma is that they just you know people are looking for a pill to solve their problem. Sure. You know, and because people are so desperate, they'll take this certain pill, which it's it hasn't been studied enough for whatever. It's a quick fix, you know. And so my theory is is mental illness needs to be dealt with non medically. Non, well, non, and, 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 but the thing is, the, the, the thing is, um, is that uh, for her, or and probably many people like her, yeah. there are certain chemical imbalances that have to be dealt with. Well, yes, um, that, is, that, is a, that is a real thing. I'm not, through, I'm not through, that. I'm saying that is that is a possibility for a lot of people yeah. that they're chemically imbalanced. And, and, and whether it's done through, you know pharmacology with, you know, uh, pharmaceutical companies, or whether it's done through a natural substance, which right. would be preferred in my my mind. Right. Um, and there are natural substances that could do the same job yes, as any any pill made in the lab. Um, exactly. It, we're, it's working for her. And, uh, and I'm That's sure, good. I'm no, sure it's whatever working for, works for you know, the person, I'm, I'm all for it. But I guess, you know, like we've talked about, we've been doing this show almost 10 years now, and we did a story recently in the last year 
the B um, it was from the BBC, but a university or college or whatever over in England did a study, and they actually came out and said psilocybin magic mushrooms will cure depression. Oh, absolutely, no doubt about it. Even, even and Grammy, I believe that wholeheartedly. Yeah, even Grammy did a story on that tonight. Yes, they, it will cure depression. I mean, think about that. It cures it. Yeah, right. Or, it doesn't. I mean, but maybe it wears off, so then you have to do another mushroom chip. Hey, well, you don't know what's wrong with but that. Hey, <laughs> that's not, right, that it's, nat it's a natural substance that's grown on the earth. I yeah, mean, yeah. Okay, who are you going to trust, Mother Nature or Big Pharma? I mean, come on. That's a no-brainer right there. Right, absolutely. That's an absolutely no-brainer. Who yeah. do you trust, Mother Nature or Big Pharma? Really? There's a no-brainer right there. No question about it. Yeah. So, hey, happy birthday, Grimnir. Well, thanks, Moose. And by the way, Hello. by the way, I, 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 oh, she's there. Beth Z was her birthday yesterday. Yes, so happy birthday don't leave Beth, Beth Z too. out of this little birthday bashing kind of yeah, wonderful time here. Birthday bash. We still, we, we, you know. You dang Virgos. Yeah, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> We love Beth here, and uh, no, no sign. All signs have good and bad qualities. There's no one better than the other. So. Right, they're just all different. That's all. Right, no big deal. You know? In Ro Rome's, he's also a Virgo coming up in uh, uh, a couple September. weeks. Yeah, Tuff, yeah September yeah. 11th. He's a he's a 911 boy. He's a 911 baby. But he was, <laughs> it wasn't. It was a, he was born pre 911. So you can't really pin that on him. I mean, I'm not going to wreck his birthday by associating it with the bullshit that happened on 9-11. No, no, you can't pin 9-11 on Rome. No, no, no. Wait. And Frump Frumpy's no. next Friday. He's the 31st. All right. All right. Frump, Frumpster. One of um, August birthdays here. Yeah. And September. Right. Right. And yeah, and Grammy was earlier this month. And, uh, oh. And, uh, nice. Yeah. Some other people Party I know. On, birthday people. So, so a couple other personal personal friends of mine that are not on here, that also August birthdays. So yeah. Party on, birthday people. It's rad. Yeah. So um, are you gonna kick it off with a birthday song? No, I'm not. But oh, I, I'll, right. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get to the I'll get to I'll get to the. I'll, 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 I already had all the, my my set all queued up. I I, I do I, get it. I do I that before the show, so we'll do it on the next set. <laughs> hey, I get it. That's right, but Vulcans. Hey, live long and man. live 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 long and prosper, Rome. All right, you know it. <laughs> Where's the wisdom from the Grimnir? Oh God! All right. Oh, we want this. All one. right, and from Star Trek. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> from Spock himself. All right, here you go. Speaking of the wonderful Beth Hart, Slash is on stage. How you? Oh yeah, we were all born to be wild. Let me tell you right now, folks. <laughs> yeah, born, born, born to be wild. Uh, Steppenwolf there for y'all. Before that, we had Spiderbait doing a version of Ghost Riders on the sky. And we kicked it off with Slash and Death Heart doing Led Zeppelin's Whole Lot of Love. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Moose Girl is born to be wild. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Fun stuff there. Good, 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 good rock and roll to kick off the program here this evening. Uh, Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> yeah, what have we got here? Oh, I, well, I'm looking at your, at, your, at, your, at your new request. Oh, by the way, and I should mention this, or I want to mention this. I don't know if I should or not, but I, I'm going to. Um, uh, er, earlier this week, uh, I received a phone call. I was not uh, available to the telephone whenever it came in, but I received a phone call from Solomon. So, oh, really? Yeah, so Solomon's out there. Wow. He, 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 called to tell, he called to tell me happy birthday, and he... he, he <laughs> yeah, whoa, settle down there, Louie. Wow. Uh, he, he, <laughs> he, so he, he had some other stuff to say. He said he had three minutes, but it cut him off after like 40 seconds. So I don't know what all he had to say, but 
it, it was just really good to hear from him because, um, you know, it's it's hard to know what's going on with the man at, at this point in time. Right. So uh, it, it was it was great to hear from Solomon and um, anyway. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. I miss miss uh, miss talking with him. You know, he's a uh, he. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, he's a cool guy, man. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I miss I miss his little words of wisdom and stuff that he always used to come in and share with us. And oh well, what do you do? What do you do? Yeah, what do you do? You know, life changes and and stuff changes for for people and and so anyway, Solomon, if you're out there for hearing this, if you hear it later on, peace, brother. Peace, man. You are my brother, Solomon. All right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, where am I now? Let's where? See here. What's that? I said, uh, let's see here. Let's see my bookmarks here. What what was we got here? Clicking on my bookmarks here. Okay, so the first thing I I have is that there's going to be a question put on the ballot in Eau Claire. A question. In November. Is, is this about a, marijuana? Is, is, is this like an advisory question? Yeah, it's a, it's a bullshit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it's is, a, I'm going to tell you the story. They're going to they're get the opinion of the voters, but it won't make the a opinion, difference. Before they put it on the ballot, they want the opinion. They want to feel out people, <laughs> see where people are at on this issue. Uh, okay, we'll so they're going to do this. They're going to do this. They're going to put a referendum, referendum question about legalizing marijuana. On the November 6th ballot in Eau Claire County. Okay. They, last night, the county board approved the advisory referendum question. This is on August 22nd. Right. Um, voters will have three options. Now, okay, I'm just going to tell you to read the article and then I'll discuss, all right? The first option is to make marijuana legal for adults 21 and older for recreational or medical use. Number two for marijuana to be legal for medical purposes only and only with a prescription. Or, number three, for the drug to remain illegal as under current law. If marijuana were to become legal, board supervisors say proceeds from taxes on marijuana would be used for education, health care, and infrastructure. That's the end of the article. Okay, so the three questions are, and there's two fucking questions, by the way, Obviously, the winning question is number one, but, you know, why do you have, I mean, this is why democracy sucks, because if the majority of, like, let's say the majority of people that are vo actual voter, voters are fucking stick up their asses type people, they're going to be against weed because they have they believe all the propaganda that's been shoved down their throats for many, many years, right? Right. And so the peop this doesn't work because not everybody votes. So to put it on the ballot and say, well, we're going to, basically what they're doing is feeling out the, the feelings of people that actually fucking vote. Yeah, not exactly. Not filling up the feelings of all the whole community. Well, they're, they're, they're <laughs> the way to do it right, in my opinion, is you send out a fucking mail or send out a flyer to every fucking household and say, "Fill this out." You know, don't make it be a voting thing. Well, well, here, here's here's you know? the thing. Here, here's the thing, Bruce. And, and circles, circles guy, right? The obvious choice is missing to simply stop the nonsense about a plant. Exactly. And, and, and that's, if, that's, if, that's true. if government was just to say, hey, this is none of our business, let's get out of this business. Right. Whatever people want to do with themselves, they can. Let's just make it free and it doesn't, we don't have no part. No, no regulation whatsoever. Right. Exactly. That's, that's what I would be for more than anything. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, because they want, the, 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 the word, just the word legal gives me a chill up my spine. You know what I mean? As, me as it good. should. As it should. You're right. It doesn't make me feel good when they call something legal or illegal. It just, it just irks me. It makes me, it gives me the willies. Heebie-jeebie. 
Right. There's too many goddamn fucking laws. And to make, to have a plant be illegal, that's basically, it's, which is actually beneficial to people, while you have this other drug out there that's legal, that's not, that, that's totally deadly to people, meaning alcohol, it makes no fucking sense. But that's not the point. The point is we have to deal with the things are, the way they are the right now. A absolutely. What else are you going to do? Right. And I'm still thinking back to Blue Ox Festival where, you know, I go to a lot of festivals, and there's certain festivals, like the bigger ones, like Blue Ox or Lock-In or whatever, um, Northwest String Summit. I've never been to those two other ones, but the bigger festivals, if you're in the music part, you can't, you should not smoke weed in there. No, no. If you do... You should be very discreet about it. Right, because they're scumbags and they'll come and get you. Because there's undercover motherfucking cops in there. <laughs> and, see, and they can get away with it because, oh, it's the public, it's a public venue. Right, right. You know, and it's bullshit. To, I swear, I swear to God, undercover cops, that's fucking coercion. Okay? Oh, no doubt about that's, it. That's, that's bad tactics there. That is coercion and suckering someone in. You're dressed looking like a normal motherfucking supposed, but I can pick him out in the crowd. But the, sure. You know, you don't know better. You, you know, you're at a festival, you know, someone's like, oh, so I have a hit, you know, you're smoking some weed, you're not thinking nothing about it, you know. All of a sudden, oh, what did you do? The guy's dressed in plain clothes. Oh, right. It's yeah. like, you know what? That's bullshit. If you're going to be in the crowd, you better be dressed in your fucking costume, bitch. That's right. None of this fucking undercover shit. That's bullshit. Yeah, well, that's the, it's, the, it's one of their dirty tricks, you know. A friend of mine comes up, I just got my pot and shit taken from an undercover cop in a Milwaukee fucking brewer shirt. I'm like, fucking A. Really? Yeah. But at the same time, he, sh he was dumb. He should have known better. Like, there's certain festivals you know you can't smoke it up right in front of the stage. You know what I mean? Oh, right. And that is one of them festivals. I mean, I don't agree with it, but it is the way it is. So you have to fucking... Uh, uh, you know, here, here's the thing. There's no reason to smoke it right there anyway. Yeah, you know, you no. you can go off to the side. No, where, you just you know, go you, back to your campsite or whatever. Because, you know, what, so, some, right. some people may not appreciate it right down there and... And right. So well, you, see, the music part is separate from the campground. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah. You keep you can go, if you want to smoke, you got to go to your campsite at that festival. Yeah, you, you know, you're I go better off. Little yeah. ones, we're smoking weed right up at the fire stage. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're just like, whatever, dude. There's no cops here. You know what I mean? But sure. But you know that at Blue Ox, which is a bigger festival, there is uniform costume cops and uncostume cops. Yeah. You know, and they they tell you that. I mean, everyone knows that. You know, you sh if you've been going to Blue Ox for four years, you should know that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And th it, it applies to anything, not just festivals, but anywhere. Right. You, hey. you know where it's safe to smoke and where it's not safe to smoke. You know what I mean? You yeah. gotta be. It, it sucks because you have to fucking hide out. Hey, hey, hey well, you got li you got a link to that article. The which one? The one about your question on no, your. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Week, on, yeah. on your ballot thingy. Yep, yeah. yep. Right here. All right, cool. And we didn't say hi to all the folks here in the chat. Yeah, if, oh, you're, yeah, not, let's do that. if you're not here in the Real Liberty Media chat, get on over here. If you want to. Hang out, hang out with these people. And, uh, yeah. Well, if you want to. We, we got some great folk. We got, we got the bar band. We got, we got the cowboy tech. Cowboy. We got me and the moose and Miss Kate and the phantoms. And, As and Asmo and Ben, Ben Bennywa from Eau Claire. <laughs> <laughs> and birthday girl yesterday, Mrs. Z. Uh, and Z. Chloe and a couple of Chalcedonies there. I don't know why there's two of them, but there are. And we got, we got, we got, we got Circle Miss Circle from over there in the Den Denmarkia, Denmarkia. And another Chloe. <laughs> we Kofax and uh, Cyborg Noodle, that's another bot there. Uh, DC, uh, Don Carroll, uh, 
Hey, Don, Dad, Dakota, and that's your line from Pete and Goober, and Graham Z doing another great show tonight. He always does great shows. We Graham got, Z rocks, and we man. Got, we got the Gromit, and we got another Don C. <laughs> we got Java Doctor and JJ's and Wada Taco and Kozu and a box of poxes. <laughs> All kinds of boxes <laughs> and and uh pone sauce there and uh rain and hey rain, you want that? Uh and the fluke bot and the sack puppet and uh the skittle bot, that's the uh pox bot and Rome's and Vin E who did a program earlier this afternoon as well. All right. Yeah. Good. And he'll he'll be on the dark table again tomorrow. So uh yeah. We got we got we got the hosties of the mosties here. Um, yeah. <laughs> this program. Anyway, uh, speaking of the marijuana, I came across this article. I'm not sure where I, I found it at. I wonder I don't know if it was on one of the shows here, or I found it on Minds, or wherever the hell. It doesn't really matter where I found it. And it's and it's from April of this year. But it it could be a helpful, handy guide to many people. Um, it, it is the medical. Marijuana benefit strain specific guide tells okay. so it tells you uh, what the various types of weed are good are good for doing different different things um, right, right. and, and well it goes through the uh, sediva and Andi indica and ru ruderalis. There's only two kinds. No, nah, <laughs> cannabis ruderalis is characterized by varied leaflets and mature leaves. A shorter stature in general, small size. This and it's monk weed. It's a subs. What? <laughs> there's two kinds. In the current No, no, no. But there's this other one, Ruderalis. No, it's, that's not. It's bonk. It's then. a it's a subspecies. It says uh, of of it's of. Not, yeah, whatever. There's only <laughs> two kinds. Well, this is types of. Is there three kinds? Well, okay, maybe there's three kinds now, but that's a blend then. I mean, the current sativa. Anyway, they got a chart here showing you, showing you, showing you the various uh, uh, THC, CBD, CBG, CBN, CBC, THCV, CBGA, whatever, some other stuff. And it shows, okay, this one relieves pain. This one's analgesic. This one suppresses appetite. This one kills bacteria. This one reduces blood sugar. This one reduces vomiting. Anyway, there is a chart with a bunch of check marks in it, and it shows it all these various things. Uh, t tranquilizing used to manage psychosis, uh, suppresses muscle spasms, relieves anxiety, stimulates appetite, promotes growth, uh, reduces function in the immune system. Anyway, all kinds of different stuff there. Pretty pretty cool little chart for you know you might you might want to uh, keep track of that, find it, put it to good use, um, and uh, you know pin it up on your on your uh, Put it up on your on your on on your refrigerator with a magnet. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So I'm wrong. There's more than one, two kinds. Well, there's apparently there's three, and then and then they do different things with them, you know. But um, and I can't admit when I'm wrong. Okay. okay. I, and, and, I admitted I was wrong. You guys heard me say that, right? Anyway, that that part of, that's mentioning the ruderalis, it's a little embed there. It comes from. Types dash of dash weed dot org. Ruderalis <laughs> is probably mostly used for medicinal purposes. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not the kind of weed that's going to get you fucking stoned out of your gourd. I I I, you, I don't know. I, 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 no, it's for medicinal purposes. Uh, it, probably. Probably. I I don't know. I just I just know that. I don't know either. I'm like I know a lot about the subject, but <laughs> I don't know everything. So I thought, I thought it was all new to you. Who all knows everything? Raise your hand. <laughs> everything about everything. Raise That's your right. Hand. All weed is medicinal. That's exactly right. Exactly. And hemp. <laughs> hemp is not only medicinal, but it fucking should heal the planet. Basically, I mean. Yeah. Not, you make clothes, oil, fucking paper. Well, I'm and I'm not sure what this means. Not. I'm not, I'm not sure what this means, but the 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 woman who wrote this, the Delilah, Delilah, is that how you say your name? Yeah, um, maybe. Doctor Deli Delia Delia. Do <laughs> okay, it says here, Doctor or Delia Walks, M.D. 
F A A F P. What the fuck ever? I, I don't I don't know. But anyway, she has a, a radio show. Um, uh, on, that doesn't impress me. The letters at the name don't impress me. Well, I, I I just thought maybe they spelled fap wrong. They were like people. Yeah, were, like, you know, like guys were fa- guy, guys were fapping to her. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> she she isn't bad looking. <laughs> She's got her picture on top of that article for anybody interested. <laughs> Big old letters. Oh, yeah, you're something. So you can, so you can go and fat to her. Um. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Are you, are you done with your story now? Yeah, that was just. I just wanted to share that since you were talking about the weed there in Eau Claire. Okay, and, well, I'm on the same subject. All right. Again, from WEAU, August 23rd, 2018. Hemp farming has become a hot-button topic surrounding its legalization and use across the nation, including the state of Wisconsin. Now, one Clark, fam- Clark County family is making an investment in the controversial plant. It's been used for thousands of, thousands of years until the last 60 years. Why? Asked Jamie Diggenhart, a hemp farmer in Clark County, after a 60-year ban on hemp farming in Wisconsin was lifted. Denonhards are investing in the crop. Who now? New, it's a, their last name, Deegan Hart. Oh. The Deegan Hart's family business is the first in Wisconsin to harvest hemp through a pilot program with the Wisconsin DOJ. What? Okay, they're working with the Wisconsin Department of Justice. Right. Well, you know, they're supposed to actually um, nationally uh, legalize or or uh, what, 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 declassify hemp um, next month well, yeah, as, as part of... Well, they to grow hemp in Wisconsin, but weed pot is still illegal. But, right, but but for hemp, it's, it's supposed stupid. to go... It's stupid. It's so <laughs> dumb. And, the, okay, I'm, I'm for this family. I love the fact that they're growing hemp, but they're working with the DOJ. Okay, that concerns me. But then they go and they go on to say that the family harvests the crop on a 1.5 acre farm and sell CBD products at their storefront in Nielsville with gray area on state versus federal what? With, with gray area on state versus federal legality of the crop, Deegan Hart say their inspiration to continue their business comes from testimonials flooding their storefront. They'll come back and they'll be like, wow, it reduced the inflammation in my lower back, my ankles, my arthritis is not as bad as it the family says normalizing the crop and its products take, takes educating the public about health and economic benefits. You know, I mean... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's ridiculous that it's illegal. It, it helps people. It helps people with their ailments. You know, what kind of government... But you could make the... You uh, have if it wants to keep this from the people. You, you can it's make... You can make... They're keeping medicine from the fucking people. They're making it illegal to have beneficial medicine. Right. So they're making keeping alcohol legal, which is deadly. Okay. But, but you you can make the uh, CBD oil from the hemp. Right. Of course you can. But why draw? Stop there. No, I'm not. I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying that you right. can. Right. But that's what my point is. The, the, oh well, it's hemp. It won't get you high. What? <laughs> you know, when I, if I, I buy get a weed it. and I don't smoke any, drink any alcohol, I'm just strictly smoking weed. I'm, I, I'm, I'm sober and I smoke some weed, right? Okay. I don't feel bad. I don't feel a change in my, I mean, I do feel a change in myself, but it's for the better. And I don't know even how to describe it. Like, you can't describe it. It's just. You feel better. Right, yeah, you just have to experience it and then you'll better. know. Like, you know, and I know it's natural. It's not going to fucking kill me. I can't own the You know? Right. And I know this natural. It's a plant. It's been here since day one of this planet. Sure. And I know that it's beneficial because I've done the research. You know, I'm not going to go out there and shoot up heroin or do some mess. Because I know that shit's not natural. It's bad for me. It could kill me. Sure. You know, why would I want to do something like that? 
I can't imagine. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking use a product that's natural that helps me deal with my fucking day to day life. Obviously, there's, it's a no brainer what I'm going to pick. Sure, sure. You know? Then you get these idiots out there trying to make synthetic weed that's totally deadly. Oh, that's not, I don't even know how they can call that weed. It's not even weed, right. I mean, you can call it synthetic crap, but it, it's, it's not... It's I'm not. sorry. Right, if you can't tell the difference between synthetic weed and real weed, then you don't know what real weed looks like. Yeah, it, it's just a bunch of nasty chemicals all mixed right, together. Right, it and looks like crap. It doesn't even look like... It's not natural. It's man... Ugh. Yeah, I, 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 I can't imagine. That they, they should not be able to call that weed or marijuana no, or whatever. No, should, they shouldn't be legal to sell it. But yet it is. It's killing people. But yet they still, the, the government still allows it to be sold here. It's made in China. You know. The government don't give a fuck about you. I mean, I've been preaching that fucking subject for fucking ten fucking years. If you still fucking think the government gives a fuck about you, except for the, the monetary value that you provide them, then you're fucked in the head. Yeah. The government don't give a fuck about you on a personal level. They could care fucking less if you fucking live or fucking die. Absolutely. <laughs> if you live, you're going to make money on it. If you die, they're going to make money on you that way, too. Yep, yep, they don't miss a trick. Government's fun. Government is not a person. Fuck people. It's a thing. That's right. Fuck that thing. It ain't even Fuck a real that. thing. It's a fake thing. Look at these slimy fucking motherfuckers that are in the front <laughs> of the show. For how long? Slimy, murdery, murdering scumbag. Pieces of shit. And that's a compliment to them. And people sit there and go, oh yeah, oh yeah, I believe in the system, I believe in democracy, I believe in the American way. You're fucked in the head. <laughs> Sorry to say, but you're fucked in the head. You are. You anyway. Fuck the fucking story and don't lie and I get it, it's been forced down your throat. But look the fuck up, around. Like Cooper says, look around. Look so around, look man. Around. Check Start it out. Around. <laughs> Don't go by what you're told. Go by what you fucking see. There you go. All right, let's let's hear some more music here. All right. Um, yeah, I'm, I need a break. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get pissed off. Don't you know? I I have to suppress my anger to get through my life. I'm not gonna let them piss me off to the point that I can't live my life. Okay. Sure. But I still get fucking pissed off. I'm still not fucking happy. I'm fucking irritated. You know, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Bullshit. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. This is the uh, uh, the birthday songs Blues Girl put in there for me. So uh, check them out. Enjoy. Have some fun. Kid, I hear it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh yeah, American muscle, nothing like it. Yeah, Mopar ruled the world today. You know, I, I I know Chevy and Ford people always always had their things, but anyway, that was heavy metal taking a ride there with Don Don Felder. Uh, but before that, we had three birthday songs uh, posted up there by the Moose Girl for me. Thank you so much, Miss Moose, and uh, everybody else there in the chat for your wonderful birthday wishes. So, uh, yeah, birthday boogie and a little swing going on, the Beatles, and yeah, nice stuff. <laughs> Thank you there, Cirque. Uh, yeah, happy meat suit day. <laughs> Didn't the GTO have a 442? Uh, some of them, some of them. Yep, yeah, some of them had 350. Some of them had 450s, but yeah. Yeah, yeah some of them had 350, but you know. Yeah, oh. no, the fucking... Oh my god, I saw this awesome GTO at the fucking car show. I was just like drooling. I'm like, really? <laughs> I saw so many cars, I was just like drooling. I mean, seriously. Then I like touched one, man. I said, don't touch one. Don't touch them. I'm like, what? I'm not going to fucking hurt it. Uh, yeah, you got uh, you... This is a light purple Studebaker. I'm just like, oh my god, that thing's lovely. <laughs> you know? 
I mean, these these car people are hardcore though. Oh, sure they are. They they don't they don't want you they touching are. their they they don't want you touching their cars. <laughs> they get no, but they got clubs and shit. Oh hell yeah! They go to all these fairs and they travel all over and go to these car shows everywhere. They just it's a big old party. Right, right. You know, I mean, they show up their cars and they fucking fuck them all cars. And they, you know what I mean? There, there used to be this uh, yeah. this one little town up in the north uh, of San Diego County. Well, it's still there. It's not it didn't used yep. to be, but they, they don't they don't do the the, the Saturday night drags anymore. <laughs> right, but no, we, that that got illegalized. Oh. Yeah, we used to go up there and hang out. And everybody bring bringing their hot cars up there. Yeah, uh, yeah, well, that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. But the one I think I talked about this a couple of weeks ago on Figures Ball, though. the one that we saw, the Nova, yeah. which wasn't street legal and had like the double, like a single wheel, but it was like the double, double width. With, oh right, it, yeah. With no, no tread. Slicks. That thing was fucking loud. You have to wear earplugs. I mean. That thing was not a street legal car at all. That was a total racing car. So you know they have tracks where they still do that stuff. There. Oh sure, but we. They, you know why well, would you have a car <laughs> like that if you're not going to fucking actually race it? You know. Yeah, my a buddy of mine, he had he had his Camaro. He thought it was all trick, but. It, yeah. it really wasn't all that trick, <laughs> not compared to the rest yeah. of them out there. No, but <laughs> seriously, my dad had a '69 Camaro back in the day. Yeah. He, I mean, he had a full time job, you know. He could afford it. I mean, back in the day, a sports car, yeah, it was a little bit more expensive, but it wasn't that much more expensive. I mean, nowadays, cars are as much as, as houses. Sure. Know, or down payment on a house. You know what I mean? Well, well they, they certainly it's can be. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, when you think about, I mean... Back in the day, back in the 50s and 60s, you could buy a house for $30,000. Oh, easily. A nice house. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, you could yeah. buy a car for fucking two grand. It was uh, 1970 uh, or, yeah. 70, or 71. And right. my, my parents bought uh, the house that my brother's presently living in um, right. for $21,000. Right. I mean, it, it, was, it was a basic, you know, tracked home, three three bedroom right. house. Oh, yeah. In a, in, home, in a nice, no, in a nice neighborhood, you know. Uh, right. And uh, so that, right. uh, but that, that house is now worth about uh, six hundred, seven hundred thousand. So what happens is, <laughs> we are in a fiat economy, and so what happens is, you know, it's it's been a generational thing. Like it's been an agenda leading up to this point, right? Right. So our parents, our grandparents were duped. Our parents were duped. And now we're being duped. Sure. And as you can see, they're tight, tightening the noose. They're making it harder and harder to be successful. And basically how you're viewed as being successful in this country is by how much money you fucking have. Right. You know, you're, or you're... what kind of job you fucking have. Or how much shit you fucking have. Or how much property you fucking have. Well, hell, I got tons of shit. <laughs> it's like, you know, oh, I got tons of shit. Nothing all that great, but I got tons of shit. Like, I mean, and so what I'm saying is, it's been a squeeze. It's been the squeeze technique. It's what they've been doing to us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Our parents struggled. My grandparents struggled to make ends meet. My parents struggled to make ends meet, and I'm still struggling to make ends meet. So you tell me how things have gotten better. Well, it, dep it depends on who you are. I mean, when you think about it, things have gotten fucking much worse. It, it depends. Well, for for the average person, yeah, but for the rich people, it's gotten much better. See, okay, there's not very <laughs> many rich people anymore. No, no, the the number of rich people has gone way down, but those that have and remained that, there. The, and the, what was <laughs> perceived as being rich when this, these people thought they were rich. They weren't fucking rich at all. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. You and I, and most people of our uh, economic class, I guess you would say, yes, yes. are probably overall much, much happier. Oh yeah, we're than, than, way happier than, than those rich bastards yeah. that are always. And people are fucking whack. Yeah, they so up their money. They you know, whatever, shit. man. They shit fucking money. 
You know what I mean? That would hurt to shit money out your ass. I'm sorry, but it would hurt. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't Especially if it was gold bricks, you know. Or she even wipes your ass with money. I think that would be gross and disgusting. Yeah, you know, yeah. You, you, fucking dirty. You, you would no Especially doubt. Especially their money, because it's not real money. It's fake fiat currency money. Right. It's all a big fucking scam. Yeah. So... There you go. There you go. There you go. I collect things of value. (laughs) You know what? The things that I collect of value aren't green. They're not paper green, shit-filled, cocaine-filled pieces of shit paper. They're fucking actual items that actually have value. You know? Right. Okay, okay. Uh, tell Tell me if you get this. I'm not really sure what he's talking about here. Okay. Um... Uh, maybe he's talking about CBD. I, I don't know. Uh, Hal, you know, he retweets the show generally during the show sometime. And, and so his tweet this week is CBD, CBG, BCD, BBCGA, CGA, THCA, THCV, BCBDA. <laughs> he put your genetic health code sequence. <laughs> oh my fucking God. I don't know what you're talking about, Hal, but it made me laugh. So, good on you. <laughs> now, here's, let's do one more marijuana story that I have lined up here. Yeah, marijuana oh, is always a good subject. I love this subject. It is, it is, but this one... I can talk about it all day long, 24-7. This one might surprise you. I don't know. In a follow-up move... The DEA wants to wants more marijuana grown. I hate the DEA. I hate in, them. in 2018 as well. Anyway, it says it says a move by the Drug Enforcement Agency uh, last week to dramatically increase the amount of marijuana that can be legally grown in the United States in 2019 for research purposes. And let me tell you right now, I'm a researcher. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Combined with its decision to reduce opioid production levels, surprised longtime observers of the Anti-Narcotics Agency. It is uh, now in a new filing scheduled to be published in the Federal Register yesterday. Scheduled to be yesterday. Anyway, the agency is moving also to boost the cannabis quota for the current year. Under the proposed update... Boost it! Yeah, let's boost the cannabis quota! Woo-hoo. Yeah. Anyway, under the proposed update, 1,140,216 grams of marijuana will be needed in 2018 to provide for the estimated medical, scientific, research, and industrial needs of the U.S. of A. For, right. for lawful export requirements, the lawfully export weed, and for the establishment of the maintenance of reserve stocks. So they have... Sorry, re- I, I wait, wait, shit. wait. They have reserve stocks yeah, of weed. <laughs> All right. It says that amount, more than 2,500 pounds of weed, isn't nearly as much as the 5,400 pounds the DEA proposed for next year. But it's more than double the 978 pounds uh, first proposed for this what year. What the fuck? It says it's not... It's not immediately clear why the DEA is moving so to so you dramatically increase cannabis cultivation for 2018 and 2019, but it could have to go with the ongoing process to license more legal growers for research, for research that was initiated under Obama, uh, while more than two dozen interested parties fi- filed applications under the expanded program, the DOJ has blocked the DEA <laughs> from acting on the proposal. Uh, anyway, it goes on to talk about other bullshit, but I, 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 I found it interesting that, you know, uh, for, for whatever reason, uh, these people that have been... I had to fucking do that many times, right? The, you know, these, this is full of shit. These bastards that have been screwing up people's lives for 50, 50 yeah. years o- over this. Well, now we're going to be nice guys. And we're no, no, make, no. They're, they're still on, not. They still, that, that's, none of that's for you. None of that's for no. you. No. No, no. That, that's fucking di- bullshit. <laughs> that's a, Give me a fucking break already. Awkward. Come on. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, 
sorry, Grandma. You know. No, I know. You're, you're bullshit. You gotta fucking, you know, call it out. I I agree. I I absolutely you're agree. You're total motherfucking bullshit. <laughs> You just can't, you know. Oh, man. I can't sit back and be silent. <laughs> I want to show you this little clip. I got to line it up here first. Okay. But uh, I came across it on well, my my little uh, top story. Don't tell me what to do. My 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 little top story algorithm. Uh, I get enough from that from the fucking government. Shut up, motherfuckers! <laughs> Don't fucking tell me what to fucking do. Yeah, bastards. Who the hell are you think you are? Damn it! <laughs> Even if you tell me what to do, I might not do it. I might do it, or I might not do it. But you don't got no right to tell me what the fuck to do. That's right. Who the hell you so think you fuck are? Fuck off, fucking people telling me what to fucking do. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Motherfucker is trying to tell me what to do. I'm fucking fine. Go do what you want to fucking do. Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself and do what you want to do. Quit telling people what to fucking do. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay, here. Che just check out this clip. Yeah, that's um, that woman you may see on the screen. If you're looking at the screen right now, that's... Um, yeah, I see her. I forget her yeah. name. She's, Sarah she's, Saunders. She, okay, Sarah Saunders. She's the the, the, the Trump Your mouth. Your mom just fucked up with her mouth. The, she had a stroke or something. Okay, okay, whatever. Stuck with her mouth. She, she's the Trump mouthpiece. But here, listen to this, yeah. listen to this clip. But her mouth is sideways. Uh, Look at her mouth. Okay, okay, well, just just watch the clip. Okay, I will. I need a drink. Uh, never sounds like a good day. <laughs> anyway, I saw that and it cracked me up. <laughs> I thought I'd share. It's, <laughs> well, it's not real, man. No, well, yeah, of course. We all wish it would go like that, but. Of course it's not, not real. <laughs> Oh. But but it still cracked me up. I, 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 I. Well, yeah, it's all fucking bullshit, though, what goes down. So, you know, it's not far from the truth, really. You know? No, no, it's it's absolutely believable. Right, yeah. Some people thought I was a real deal. I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm like, okay, I watched her for a little bit. I'm like, this can't be real. <laughs> this can't be, like, you know, no, no I'm fucking with <laughs> Oh, you can't make this shit up, people. <laughs> like, no wonder I'm, I mean, I've been doing, we've been doing this show almost 10 years. It's like, no wonder I am the way I am. I mean, come on. Think about it. Right. You know, how would you be? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can all pretend that you're better and you're all high smooth. You got fucking, your shit don't stink. I know differently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I lose. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's only a half moon, too. But it's Scrimmage's birthday. Yeah, so. That's so. why we're so off the rails. Well, I, I don't know. I'm not. Grim part probably is not off the rails. It is a, it, he, he, he did, yeah. <laughs> All y'all did. Thanks. That's that's plenty. Of, I don't, uh, after today, I don't have to think about the birthday crap for another year, so I'm good there. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so you get to hear a spoon song all day long. I don't. Th I don't know if I play the spoon dish. song. What's that? You know, that's what's, you know. I like that part about. I mean, what other day do you have where people can be like, make you feel special? You know? I, I don't know. I, I, whatever. There is no other day. Only your birthday. Really. Lady. Oh, it's in the request? Okay, I'll, I'll check it out. I haven't, I haven't played it yet, okay. then. I um, like the Spoon Lady. We've played that before. I, I don't know. We have. I know we have. Well, I'll have to look. If it's the same one I'm thinking of. It, that, right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. I got doughboys. Oh, I got garbage. I got angels in heaven. What's that one? I don't know. I'm just looking at the best requests and seeing. Angels, uh, okay. I, I mean, angels in heaven. That just means they're at home, right? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, angels in heaven. That's the one. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that. Not, not this set, but. Oh, and the Spoon Lady, I see. 
Okay. The Spoon Lady is cool. I have. All right, all right. <laughs> We've played that before. Yeah, we'll get to it. Not not during the next set, but um, yeah. Where where is I? Did I do this? Did I set this up? I'm right? trying to find stories. I have no bookmark stories. Oh, so I can I'm put it in there. The top. Never mind. I can put I'm it in the top, there. Like, as normal. I had I had another slot open that I forgot about, and I was setting the songs up. <laughs> Okay. All right. It's not one sign is better than the other sign. Every sign has good and bad qualities. So if you're thinking you're a superior <laughs> sign, get over it now, dude. <laughs> who's that? Who's that guy? Because Virgos are <laughs> perfectionists, but that can be a bad thing. Ab absolutely, absolutely. I mean, so don't I, be I, I, your sign is better than the other sign because of eight. I, I, I can, I can, I can take. What? I can take forever tweaking. One little element on a web page, right. or or one little you know line of code to make it, yeah. Exactly. Uh, and and when it doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be that way. It doesn't need to be perfect. Right. And and and, 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 and I, but 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 you can't get past it. You know, I can't get past right. it. Right. Yeah. You just have to. It's like a fucking. So festival. Ben, when's your birthday? Benoit. Benoit. <laughs> No, when, I don't know. He says he's a Virgo. Well, then you're a fucking Virgo, so you know. So when's your birthday, Ben? Oh, you're a sag, just like Moosey. Oh, yeah, fucking sag. No, I'm trying to act like you're a fucking Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. You can't hide sag. Once you're a sag, you're fucking up. Oh, because God. You can't control it. It just comes out of you. You can't. You know, this is why I'm so good at doing freaking fall. It's because I'm a Sagittarius. Like, if I wasn't a Sagittarius, I don't think I could do freaking fall. I gotta get where's that story at? Right. Like, and, and then Grim and I, like, we blend perfectly because we're not a good match ast astrologically as far as relationship goes, but as friendship-wise, we're a perfect match friendship -wise. Absolutely. Yeah. So it works totally well. Yeah. It works well. <laughs> Yeah, it works great. I mean, obviously, it must. Otherwise, like, we're really, 10 years. I mean, not very many people can sit there and go, I've done a radio internet show for 10 years. I mean. Right. With the same know. same person, you know, same time. Right. You know, the same person. Right. I mean, rock on with us, our bad selves. Right, Grim? Damn right. Damn straight. No, damn forward. I'll never go straight. Damn forward. <laughs> I will go forward, but not straight. I, I, I couldn't be straight if I fucking tried. That would yeah. be boring as hell. Do you want these religious people that are like all like pulls off and fucking sheltered, like whacked in the head? It's <laughs> like, dude, you're a human being. You're missing out on fucking so much of life. It's not even funny. I feel bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I gotta find this story. I, I mean, I, seriously, how can you be that straight? I just, I, ew, how confining. To me, that would be confining. But at the same time, I, I can't, I can't stand confinement. That's just in my, it's in my nature. I'm a double fire sign, being a Sagittarius, and I'm a fire Sagittarius. And I'm also a Chinese fire horse, in, or a, a fire horse in Chinese astrology, which is the rarest sign in Chinese astrology. It only happens once every 60 years. It's, okay. It's a bur it can be a burden and a curse. And it, it's, it's been both for me, but it's been mostly a, a, a burden. I mean, a good thing. I, 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 think, I think I'm a water rat. I, I'm some kind of oh, rat. Oh, really? Yeah. No, no, wait. I'm a metal rat. That's what I am. I'm a metal rat. Okay. So, me and you <laughs> would be okay, but not really because we're not a good match because I'm fire and you're metal. And it takes a lot of fire to melt metal. Yeah, I don't melt real easy. Yeah, no, you don't. So it would be a it would be a fucking clash. That's why we make better friends than like anything else. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, here's a here's a story I think you all enjoy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I shared it her. her he laughs. I like when he says the story. <laughs> Then he laughs before he tells the story. I shared it, I shared, shared it here in the chat earlier, and a lot of us have been having a little fun with it anyway. Okay. Healthline website says the term vagina 
is no longer gender inclusive. We'll start using front hole instead. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> you you, you okay. no you no longer have no. you you no longer have a vagina. You have a front no. hole. No, no, no. <laughs> fuck hole. Fuck you. You're not gonna call my vagina a fucking hole, man. <laughs> front hole. I mean, front I'm sorry, hole. Man. No. This this is posted on the gatewaypundit.com. No. This is your brain on liberalism. <laughs> Healthline is one of the most most traffic websites in the United States. As of August 2018, it had a global ranking by Alexa of 614 and a United States ranking of 237. This much respected online health journal announced a major shift this week in its attempt to be more inclusive to the LGBTQIA. QIA? What the hell is IA? Okay, I got the LGBTQ. They've been pumping that for long enough, but I don't know what the hell I and A is. All right. From now on, front hole will be used on the site instead of vagina so that some nutcase who identifies as a teapot or a rake will feel included. <laughs> it's not a joke either. <laughs> Women are reduced to front holes. Uh, Health Island has claimed the disparities of higher rate of HIV and STIs observed in that LGBTQIA community are due to discrimination of the sex ed world. So California-based health information, oh, that's a big-ass spider crawling down the wall, uh, health-based information provider has adopted a gender-inclusive term, front hole, in place of the medical term, vagina, and their latest LGBTQIA sick safe sex guide. Uh, I, I don't really need to say anything more about it. They got, they got. Oh my so, God. so, so, so now, yeah, um, in, in, uh, you know, like, uh, kids at school, they, they, they don't, they don't need to, to you know, if, if, if somebody's being a little puss, you can't call them a puss anymore. You just call, have to call them a front hole now. No, yeah, you fucking no asshole is better. No, that'd be a back hole. <laughs> Fuck that. No, an ass is a fucking ass. But that's the back hole. That's changing my fucking vocabulary, bitch. No, it's not I've been told it's an ass forever. It's never, it's never gonna change. It'll always be that. Not gonna be no back hole. Back hole, front hole. And the vagina is gonna always be a vagina. I mean, it's not gonna be as no as a hole. So, let me guess. A man came up with that idea. Uh, well, uh, uh, well, the article, the, the 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 article makes. Asshole. I got a dick, so I can do whatever I fucking want to do. So is fuck off with that shit. Is 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 the would wait? Would a dick be a front hole? Does anyone remember <laughs> Lorraine and Bobbitt? Sure. Yeah, she she All made right? a hole. So she. Think, you know, stop thinking your dick like a fucking sword. Really? Because it isn't a fucking sword. Bob, it's not made out of fucking steel. Sometimes it is. No, it isn't. <laughs> no, never. Your dick is never made out of fucking steel. I don't you might think it's made out of steel. It might feel like it is when it's hard. But it's still not as hard as fucking steel. Mm. So whenever you think you've got some big old fucking weapon via yeah, your dick, think again. Because it isn't. Oh, well, look. My barrel's bent. It's a fucking tool <laughs> that you use to urinate out of and to procreate. Uh, right? Get over your fucking self. It ain't a fucking sword. <laughs> no, but I still love the story. Front hole. <laughs> That's why men needed swords made out of steel because their dick wasn't a fucking sword. So they had to come up with something oh, else God. to get a real sword, which is actually can kill people and fucking do things. Okay, well, if, if that's not a, if the, uh, if the, uh, oh, did I get a mark that already? Okay, if, if the uh, vagina is not the front hole, how about this one? No. <laughs> how about this one? College. It's more than one hole. Okay. Like, do you guys know there's three holes in a vagina? At least. Like, there's a urinary tract, but you don't piss on the same fucking hole that you fucking bear your children out of. I mean, come on. 
take an anatomy class or look it up online. Look it up. All right. Yeah. Look up the anatomy of they, 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 got, they got some weird. They got they, they got a lot of weird plumbing going on down there. Them them women folk. It's uh, not weird though. Well, it's it, it's 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 far more. It's it's a lot more yes. complicated than male plumbing. Yes, it's great. Yeah. You okay. Got outdoor plumbing. We have indoor. Plumbing. Okay. So um. <laughs> anyway, here. How about this one? And I, I don't really know what to make it think, think of it, but it's on PJMedia.com. College offers class on consequences of whiteness. Oh my! What? what? That's racist right there. It's a, that's racism right there. To even offer a class called that is fucking racism. <laughs> <laughs> the University of Oregon is offering a course this summer to teach students about the consequences of masculinity in the United States. So there's consequences to being a male. Start right, start right there. Yeah, because you think your dick is a sword. <laughs> well, they, that's that's one problem. You've been taught to think that, though. It's not your fault. You've been taught to think that your dick is a sword. It's not your fault. Right. It's passed down to generations. Okay, taught by Ashley Wood and Tony Silva, Sociology 399, whiteness, masculinity, and masculinity, whiteness, whiteness, masculinity, and heterosexuality is a featured course on the Sociology Department's website, and it aims to take a critical approach at the historical development of masculinity and heterosexuality. The class also goes by the uh, goes by Sociology 399. Straight white heterosexuality masculinity. <laughs> These are all bad things. If you're if you're any of those things, if you're straight, if you're white, if you're heterosexual. Okay. Wait. Enough. What, what's the wait? Wait wait wait, the wait. 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 What's, what, wait. What's the what's the difference between straight and heterosexual? Why are we even reciting this article though? Uh, because it's because it's funny. It's no, true. It's not <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's funny. No, this is bullshit. No, this this, this, this is this this is like. this is the world. This is this is and no, no, it's not the real fucking world. It's the fake world that they want to think that exists. No, this is not the real fucking world. This is telling you they're telling oh, us the article is telling us what we're supposed to fucking do. You know what? Fuck you. Not you, the article. <laughs> The writer of the article. Um. Fuck up! <laughs> well, I'll, I'll Sorry, just say. But don't tell me what to fucking do! <laughs> don't tell me what to fucking do! Who are you to tell me what to fucking do? You don't oh, want that most. fucking motherfucker that wrote that article? He doesn't want someone to tell him what to fucking do. Alright, so don't whine about it. Just don't t let people tell you what to fucking do, bitch! Uh -huh. It's as simple as that. And you don't the, the, let people do. You don't let people tell you what to do. What the fuck? <laughs> no, but These it, writers, they want us to fucking think that they well, want. Well, look, they it's, want it, us to think. The, 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 the writer, the writer, freelance writer, that's spewing his opinion in the but, 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 but the writer is just reporting on what's actually happening out there. No, he's not. He is. He's reporting on his opinion. Well. Of what is but, but he couldn't report that on his opinion. <laughs> but that he, is an article. It's an editorial. It's not, a, it's not a news story. It's an editorial. But but he couldn't report on what... No, he's not reporting. He's telling you how he feels about it. He couldn't tell you how he feels about it if it didn't actually exist. And it does. There's a class. They have a this class bullshit. there. <laughs> The class is real. They, they have All these they, labels are put on by the government. <laughs> they no they have the this class. The They're, They're teaching people. Buying into the labels okay, wait. Uh, let me ask you this. Let me let, let me ask you this. Have you, you looked? Uh, let, let, me, let me let me ask you this, Moose. No. Moose, 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 Moose. I don't give a fuck about your sexuality. <laughs> let me ask you this, Moose. Have you looked through the course catalog for the schools the boys are going to? I don't to. want to. I don't need to. <laughs> I'm just wondering. They're first-year students. They could be... This is bullshit. This is government 
perpetuated bullshit. <laughs> they could be stuck in any of these classes. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Because okay, colleges... Co no, they got a hippie mama fucking smoke sweet. They fucking know. <laughs> Because colleges are, are the worst. They better think for themselves. Yeah, they call me crazy and shit. But when they start seeing this shit coming up, they'll be like, what the fuck? Well, they, they be, just better be careful around them front holes because... No, no. Be careful around them and, and, and back holes. <laughs> I don't think front holes are, okay, are better than back holes. <laughs> back, yeah. You don't want to get fucked in the back hole. You're better off getting fucked in the front hole. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you better get off fucking front hole. I would, you know, I would. Oh as a, god! I would be the front hole. You know, as a man, if, if they're gonna say men have a front hole, that's what um, I, you know, you, I would be afraid. Well, see, you, but see, when we were, we were when we were talking about that, that you meant you want to cut, cut off your dick. Well, well, that's what we were talking about that you mentioned, well, Lorraine. Are they gonna cut off your fucking dick? They want you to have a front hole. They want everybody to just have a front hole. They probably would. They want everybody they, to be not non-gender specified. They'd probably be good with that. They'd probably prefer yeah, that. Yeah, they want you know. So think about that. That should scare you. If I was a dude, I'd be like, "Fuck no! They're not cutting off my fucking dick." <laughs> I'd be like, "No, that's not gonna happen." Yeah. You want to cut off my dick? Better kill me first. Then you can cut off my dick. Exactly. All right. Anyway, let's hear some more music. <laughs> Come back. This is the Freaker's uh, Ball. This is the Freaker's Ball. There's a, the title is there for a reason. It's called The Freaker's Ball. That's right. And if you listen I to like the song... It. You... Um, it's fucking bad. Don't listen. <laughs> if you don't like it, don't listen. All right. Uh, C6 Steve has a new album coming out next month. What? All right. Whatever. C6 Steve has a new album coming out next month. And uh, this is a track off of that album, and it's called Can You Cook? Very nice, very nice. That there for Miss Beth Z. Happy birthday, Beth. Um, Angels in Heaven by Chris Rodriguez and the Spoon Lady. That Spoon Lady, boy, she gets it on. All right, before that, we had Fort Miss Kate, John Lee Hooker. I'm bad, like Jesse James. And before that, for Slack Puppet, Doyle Bramhall, two, and Double Trouble doing Say One Thing. And we kicked it off from a brand new one from C6 Steve called Can You Cook? Uh, which I guess is going to be the name of the new album, which will come out uh, 28th of next month, so uh, just a little over a month from now. Brand new C6 Steve album, uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And, uh, yeah, good music. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Very good music. That last song was great. Yeah, no, they're all great. I, you know. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Happy birthday, Beth. Yeah. Live it up, girl. <laughs> Congratulations. You made it through another year. I tell ya. <laughs> you. Give me. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen during the year, but... You don't know. I'm knocking on wood right now. So, 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 so. Hey, you know what it is what it is. Life's a fucking crap shoot. That's a lot of science already. No. Right, like, right. The older you get, the more you realize that. You know? Okay, yeah. And it is what it is, you know? <laughs> you can't stop it. <laughs> It'll stop when it wants to. Right. <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, look at this. Look at this there. Look at this fair. Look at this fair. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Don't be playing. Playing what? No, what are you talking about? That stupid video started on its own. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I just did. Oh, what happened? I thought I had a mirror list here. Huh. <laughs> Fucking A, this fucking... Oh my 
Bryant. Duncan Brewers in the 13th inning. <laughs> it's like, really? How what? in the hell does that happen? Who what? There's a baseball game going on. The Brewers versus the goddamn other team. And they're in the 13th inning. Could be the 14th for now. They're tied up. So it's a battle. But anyway, it's no big deal. Oh, okay. Big deal. Okay. It's just a distraction. And yeah, I, I I have to take breaks from like reality sometimes. I mean, who doesn't, right? Right, reality sucks, so you know, might as well yeah, get the... Yeah, uh... it's like, God damn it, I'm just getting out of this shit. You know, as much as I can, I'm getting out of this shit. Like, I'll go to music festivals and stuff, you know? Dance my fucking ass off. Like, it's so nice to be in places where you can just be yourself and just, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? Right. That's why I do these. That's why I do this. If I didn't do this, I would not be me. I would not be whole. I would be fucking lacking. I would be depressed, you know? Sure. I mean, it, it, ever, it, it's not just music festivals. It's just whatever you decide you want to do that is your passion that makes you happy. You know, something like that. Absolutely. To get all wrapped up in this shit and let it control your life is just a waste. It, it, don't let them do that to you. Okay. <laughs> like, don't let them take everything. You know? Alright. Well, I got, I got a little... Uh, they want uh, to take everything from you. I, I got a, I got a, a public, soul. public service announcement here. Public service. Alright. For y'all. And I don't know... I don't know if, if you even know or if you can tell, because from what I've been reading in this particular article, sometimes you just can't really tell. <laughs> okay, what is it? Okay, this is the article, and it was being discussed in the chat there earlier this week, so here it is. Smart meter shielding tips. This is on okay. uh, electricsense.com, posted by Lloyd Burrell uh, back in 2011. So it, it's a it's not it's not a new article, but the the uh, methods still apply. And okay. it, you know, it talks about what smart meters are and uh, what kind of meter right. can can be used. Uh, electric, gas, water usage, um, and right. why smart meters are dangerous. It says smart meters are part of an overall system that includes where wireless is the means of transmission, a sense right. of wireless antennas at the neighborhood level. The system collects and transmits wireless information from all the smart meters in your area and sends it to the utility company. Yep. They do so using microwaves or radio frequency radiation, just like your cell phone or wireless router at home. A smart meter emits radio frequency wave radiation that penetrates the walls of your home and into your home 24-7, 365. The, That's correct. The, the utility companies argue that because the radiation being emitted is non-ionizing, it's yeah, that's safe. Yeah, tell them. Right. It's not safe. Yeah, uh, right. No, it's not safe. It's not they safe. They say radiation safe all they want. It's never safe. Uh, numerous studies point to the adverse biolog biological effects associated with the non-ionizing radiation used by smart meters. These people actually believe this, though. They buy it up, hook, line, and figure. They believe it because some official person told them that it's safe. And so so the, then they just eat it up. Okay, well, some official person that's married at me told me it was safe, so I'm going to believe them. And I'm going to fucking, yeah, it's okay. Okay, and so it says, is smart meter radiation worse than cell phone radiation? No, it's, it's radiation. We no, well... Radiation. Listen, it, it may it, it may not be worse, but there's a lot more of it. Right. So, D Daniel Hirsch, a lecturer and expert in nuclear policy at University of California, Santa Cruz, go banana slugs, um, ha has written a report that reveals smart meters emit 160 times more cumulative whole exactly. body exposure than cell phones. 160 so it's, it's all a big times. Deal. Like every fucking thing. Every fucking thing. <laughs> the 
cumulative body exposure from a smart meter at three feet appears to be approximately two orders of the magnitude higher than that of a cell phone, rather than two orders of magnitude lower. Uh, Every fucking thing is a lie! <laughs> they will say, oh, you, you have to have this smart meter because we have, you know, it's better technology. It's yeah, just, it's going to be damaging to your fucking health. They don't tell you that. Right. Jesus Christ. And it goes on to say that there's a big difference between smart meter radiation and cell phone radiation because you don't have to have a cell phone. Can, Nobody's forcing you to have a cell phone. You can buy one or not, but God. these meters are there all the time. Have. Right. Yes. So if you're suffering from insomnia, dizziness, headaches, high blood pressure, heart palpitations, memory loss, lack of energy, tinnitus, and lack of concentration... I'm ripping that thing out of my house tomorrow. Dude. It could be a direct result. Well, you don't have to, because here, further down in this article, and uh, I'll, I'll get to that, um, okay. is it, it, it gives you various methods to shield... Yourself. I, I, I ripped it out of my house. She, well, then you won't have any power. I don't want it anymore. Then, you, then you'll have no electricity. Fuck that. You see? This is how they do this shit. Anyway. This is, they, this is our freedom here, people. They, they, they off, fucking America. They, Aren't you so glad you're fucking free? They, you they, fucking they, dumbass. <laughs> you're not fucking free. You're being surveilled. You're being targeted. Oh, God. But anyway, they, they, they offer you... poison water. They offer, they, they offer you various methods to shield. Yeah, uh, they you, offer various methods. To they, shield this yourself. article, this stop article. You. No, <laughs> stop doing it. Just stop doing it. Listen, Moose, this article offers you methods. The electric company doesn't offer you methods. This but, this article does. It tells you how to protect it, yourself from the shit the electrical company yeah, is doing. Yeah, we gotta protect ourselves from everything. We gotta have water filters on our fucking faucets. We gotta have fucking blah blah blah. It's like fuck me. What the fuck? Why do they just stop doing oh, this shit? What about that? Has everyone ever anyone ever thought of that idea? Let's just stop fucking with the universe and fucking with nature and fucking with people. Let's just stop. Okay. Oh my well, God. Anyway, they, they they give you the various methods. Um, to do, and if you don't have the smart meter yeah, yet, you and, know what? And, and the company wants to come and install them on your house, it's they get bullshit they, that we have to resort to methods to protect ourselves. Well, obviously it is. It's not freedom. <laughs> Does anyone get this besides me and you anymore? Uh, Who else gets this fucking fact? We talk about freedom like it's a real yeah, thing. Yeah. Freedom doesn't exist. I was reading an article. I, I didn't. I didn't save the link to it, but I was reading an article, and I forget what city was it. Even some little town, actually, um, that the city council of this little town has decided that instead of doing a regular trash pickup with the regular trash guys, they they bought these trucks with the automated arms on them, and 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 so um, you, all your your trash goes into a certain size bin and goes. You have to sit at a certain place. Well. It used to be everybody would would uh, put those um, trash bins out in the back of their houses in the alleyways, and a lot of them are like dirt alleyways and whatever. Um, but now you can't do that anymore because the trucks won't fit down the alleyways and be able to have the the room to pick up these trash cans. So they're they're forcing everybody to do something far different than what they've used to been doing. Not only are you limited to that one that one trash can trash bin, um, but but you have to put them all out in front of your house instead of in the back in the alleyway, where people have been doing it for since they've been picking trash up. Um, and and the government, I mean the uh, yeah the government, the uh, city council there in, in this little town, just unilaterally decided to do this. Right, just with the wheel attached to the player. Oh, we're going to pay make people pay $3 more because they drive on the roads here. Fuck you, bitch. $3 per tire. <laughs> Fuck you. No, yeah, $3. Fuck per, you. Per tire. So if you have you have a motorcycle, 6 bucks. If you have a car, 4 Or I mean, uh, 12 bucks, yeah. and, then, and then you got to... Oh, home of the free. No, <laughs> not wrong. That's not true. Anyway, I'll, I'll put the link to that article with all the information on how to do the radiation, uh, the, the shielding, 
uh, for yourself, and, and, and if you need it, the, you know... I want the free might have applied the Civil War fucking days, but it sure as hell will apply now. They asked the Indians how freedom worked for them back in the Civil War days. Yeah, how'd that work out Fuck for you? Me. Fuck me. Fuck this government. Fuck you all. All right. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll just Sorry, give you... Sorry, you know, <laughs> it's... I'm sick of it. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, we do this show. All right. Well, I'm going to give you another article about the about, about the situation, um, and and basically what happened here was uh, uh, the federal court has said, "Screw you, consumers," um, be, be, because and this and this is about privacy rights, because these things are basically spying on you twenty four seven three sixty five. Not only, not only are they radiating freedom. you, <laughs> freedom, freedom, freedom. We got freedom here. But the federal court said, "Yeah, too bad, so sad. You're gonna have to live with it. You're gonna have to deal with it." Um, on uh, August 16th, 2018, federal appeals court appeals court ruled against the privacy rights of consumers, concluding that the governmental searches and, and that's what this is being called as governmental searches, Fourth Amendment violations. Yeah. Um, being conducted as related to data collection by smart meters is reasonable and Not thus that. permissible. It's reasonable, according to them. Yeah, that, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <clears throat> For the people living in Naperville, Illinois, how does it feel to be subjected to a governmental search on your home every 15 minutes without your consent? <laughs> Not just Naperville, Illinois. Every fucking well, I, 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 I realize that, but that's where the that's where the suit was uh, brought up. So, um, and, and so that's where that's where it comes to here. Um, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know if I can continue doing this. I just I, I've said everything. Now I'm just getting fucking pissed off. <laughs> Smoke a bowl. So now I'm just being all fucking like, fuck me, fuck you. <laughs> no, like what the fuck? You know what? I'm well, sick of it. Well, I'm not. Just, I mean, really, just, really. Just, just, just smoke I mean, a bowl. We've been doing this show what ten million years. Yeah. It's still, it's, it's worse. It's worse now than it was ten years ago. Okay. Well, here's All some good stuff news. We talked about ten years ago. It's happened. How, how about some good news? What? <laughs> How about what is the, that? Uh, it's, it's semi good news. It's it's a it's okay, a very it's a very uh, a very good if it's not really a, a very small and targeted good thing that happened. <laughs> uh, this happened right. back this happened back at the end of April, but here it is from Guns dot com. Hornady, they're a uh, company that produces ammo. Hornady refuses to sell ammo to New York agencies after Cuomo gun initiative. So ammunition giant Hornady is cutting off government buyers in New York over an order by New York government Andrew Cuomo. Steve Hornady, the company's president of manufacturing, announced on social media on Friday that the ammo maker will halt sales of their products to Cuomo state government or agencies of the Empire State. The move comes after an order directed by Cuomo earlier uh, back in April that cautioned banks, insurance companies, and lenders against involvement with the NRA and similar organizations, slamming the government's move, I mean, the governor's move, um, as one of the most despicable acts ever penetrated by the state, Hornady closed the doors to the state. So, if uh, whatever the various uh, people in government that like shooting humans uh, want to buy ammo, they're going to have to find another supplier because Hornady said, screw you guys, we're going home. <laughs> Which is a good thing. <laughs> so that's some good news. Anyway, let's play some more music right here. <laughs> and this first song we got coming up... Yes, play music, okay, This first song we got coming up <laughs> is, is a dedication, a rare dedication on the Freakers Ball. Believe it or not, a dedication, Moose. And do you want to know from who to who? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> yes, I want to know. This is a dedication from Sock Puppet to you. Wow. Oh, thank you, Saki. Wow. 
Oh, yeah. CCR. Yes, indeed, folks. Uh, born on the bayou there. Excellent video footage in that uh, various bayou scenes there. And quite the hound dog barking on the, on the porch. Uh, before that, we had uh, four Miss Circaline. Marilyn Manson and the beautiful people. Uh, before that, four the Mighty Moose Girl going up the country with canned heat. And we kicked it off there with that very dedication of of uh, Sock Puppet doing a little burning love to the Moose Girl. <laughs> Sock Puppet's got the burning love for the Moose Girl. <laughs> All right. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but you never know. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Yeah, you're here. I'm here. You're here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good. I'm glad. Oh, I was just typing. Oh. Hey, stop that. <laughs> I never was going to stop typing. Dang. As long as I have fingers that work. No, not you, the dang I'm video. Kidding. I was talking to the video. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> You're talking to me like, what? <laughs> no, you keep on typing. I'll never stop typing. <laughs> oh, man. No, I, okay. In the chat room, you can't assume when you type something, you can't assume if you're being sarcastic, you can't assume that other people think, know that you're being sarcastic. Right, you can't. It's you a can't fucking know. chat room. Yeah. And to me, totally being sarcastic all the time is a total coping mechanism. Meaning you're miserable as a human being. That's your coping mechanism and dealing with the real world and shit. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. You gotta be sarcastic. Blast all the people. Sure. Say stupid things that aren't really true. It's a coping mechanism. But to assume that people know you're being sarcastic when you type something into a chat room is mm -hmm. idiotic. Because they can't hear the inflection in your voice. They aren't seeing your eyes. They don't they, know if you're being sarcastic or not. What do you say? Oh, I was being sarcastic. You know, you, you shouldn't assume that people know when you're being sarcastic. All taking words in the chat room. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, God. I don't give a fuck. You know what? I'm so sick of people being judgmental. I'm just done. It's like, fuck you all, motherfucking judgmental motherfuckers. Your, your shit sinks just as much as everybody else's shit sinks, and your opinion is your opinion. Doesn't mean you're right. So quit trying to fucking be right all the fucking time. Yeah. Get over your fucking self and fucking open your fucking brain and maybe learn something instead of being stuck in your fucking rut. You act like you're all fucking, oh, I'm all about this, so I'm all about that. But you say you're still fucking rot? <laughs> Fuck you, phony. Oh, God. Get out of your fucking rut and then fucking talk to me, bitch. Because you know what? The shit that you've been fed your whole fucking life and your parents and your grandparents is all fucking bullshit. And if you still buy into it, then you're fucking stupid. And you're closed-minded... And refusing to learn the fucking truth. So you stay stuck in your little fucking box. Well, the rest of us get out of our fucking boxes. Yeah. And see it for what it fucking is. Get out of the box. Yeah. <laughs> get out. Get over your fucking self. Your fucking this side and that side. I'm on this side. Oh, I'm against those people on that side. Are you fucking stupid? You obviously haven't learned the truth. The real truth. <laughs> Not the shit you've been fed your whole life. I, I know, Flash. I am a burden to everybody now, and, uh... You know what? 
get off your fucking, get over yourself, and realize that you're fucking wrong, and you've been duped. You've been lied to. I, I don't know, she's just shit. going off. It's it's not, like, directed at anybody in particular. No, it isn't. It's she, not she, she's in just particular. saying, in general, about the chat. This uh, is the problem that we have, is people buy into this fucking bullshit, and don't see it for what it really is. All right, well, here, let's, let's cover this story here. I think this, yeah. is a, this is an important one. Before I give you the title of the article, I'm going to give you the first sentence here. Federal, state, and local governments could save billions of dollars by doing nothing. <laughs> this, is, this is an article posted up on Reason, and it's called Legalizing All Drugs Would Boost Local, State, and Federal Budgets. Uh, and then they got that almost right, except legalizing is not the thing. It's totally deregulating. But anyway, whatever. Uh, a new study shows that over $106 billion could be added to, added to the federal government's budget if drugs were legalized. Um, so, ending drug prohibition and no longer spending money fighting the war on drugs. So says a new study from Jeffrey Myron, a Harvard economist and a director of economic studies at the Cato Institute. Drug prohibition is enormously expensive, and Myron finds that full legalization, whatever that means, could leave over $106 billion in government coffers. State and local governments spend $29.37 billion on prohibition efforts, and the federal government spends $18.47 billion. Um, meanwhile, Myron calculates that a legal drug trade, how about a unregulated drug trade, could bring additional tax revenues. Could bring zero new tax revenues because it's unregulated, and we don't you don't you don't deserve any of our money. Of fifty-eight point one billion. If anything, that that <laughs> understates the potential economic gains. There is more to the economy than government budgets, after all. About seven hundred eighty-nine thousand eight hundred Americans are currently locked up for drug-related offenses. Putting those people back into the workforce would surely catalyze economic growth. This tide has already turned on pot prohibition. Pew poll, pew, 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 poll shows this year that 61% of America now supports the legalization of marijuana, up from 16% just three decades ago. But the majority of budgetary gains, writes Myron, would come from legalizing heroin and cocaine. The war on drugs involves much more than marijuana, and if we can stop with cannabis, uh, drug prohibition doesn't just lead to unquantifiable amounts of injustice, it's simply too expensive to continue. Now, I understand where these people are coming from, and the way they think has been brainwashed into them that you must legalize. Uh, they don't even go into the full deregulation of these substances. No, they, they, but uh, it, it's from Reason, which is a fairly libertarian rag. Um, not necessarily wholly, obviously, from you reading that they want to legalize uh, there uh, and, and uh, collect taxes from these substances. So, obviously, these, these guys are, are not quite exactly on mark about all of those things. So... Good effort. Slightly off the mark, though. <laughs> uh, Moose, what do you think? I think it's all fucking bullshit. And too many people have been duped into fucking believing in this bullshit. And they keep perpetuating it. They refuse to think outside the box and refuse to think for themselves. They just eat up all this fucking bullshit. Like it's real. It ain't fucking real. Get a grip on yourself and realize that it's not fucking real. It's all a big fucking horse and pony show, smoke and mirrors, getting you to do what they want you to do. But don't think them for yourself. Don't let them do that to you. Fuck that. Think for your fucking self for once. Yeah. See? <laughs> Lift the blinders off and get off your fucking high horse. If you don't fucking oh, like what God. I'm saying or what we talk about, 
then shut the fucking show off. Don't listen anymore. Don't listen just because you want to fucking criticize us or whatever. Or me. Me and Grim feel the same way about a lot of things, but yet I get the criticism. Grim doesn't. What the fuck? Really? What? Are you yeah. fucking kidding me, you fucking hypocrites? Playing favorites? Really? That's fucking lame. Yeah, who's, who's criticizing you? That's fucking lame. Wait. I'm not calling names. Alright. But I'm just saying, grow the fuck up, you motherfuckers. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you. Get a fucking grip on yourself and see yourself look in the fucking mirror. Alright. Okay, let's do this That's one here. I'm saying. Let's do this. Fuck the... you, <laughs> judgmental pricks. But let's cover this article here by by one of the people that uh, I greatly admire his works, and I'm going to share it with you. It's from 2004, so that's like a couple of years ago. Um, a Future of Peace and Capitalism by Murray Rothbard. Yes, um, indeed. So anyway... It says, in order to discuss the future of capitalism, we first must decide what the meaning of the term capitalism really is. Unfortunately, the term capitalism was coined by the greatest and most famous enemy of capitalism, Karl Marx. We can't really rely upon him for correct and subtle usage, and in fact, what Marx and later writers have done is to lump together two extremely different, even contradictory concepts and actions under the same portmanteau term. These two contradictory concepts are what I would call free market capitalism on the one hand and state capitalism on the other. The difference between free market capitalism and state capitalism is precisely the difference between, on the one hand, peaceful voluntary exchange, and on the other, violent expropriation. And an example of free market exchange is my purchase of a newspaper on the corner for a dime. Here's a peaceful voluntary exchange beneficial to both parties. I buy the paper because I value the paper more highly than the dime that I give up in exchange. The newspaper sells me the paper because he, in turn, values the dime more highly than the newspaper. Both parties to the exchange benefit. And what, what we are both doing in the exchange is swapping the titles of ownership. I relinquish relinquish the ownership of my dime in exchange for the paper. The newspaper dealer uh, performs the exact same opposite change of title. The simple exchange of a dime for a newspaper is an example of a unit of free market act. It is the market at work. In contrast to this peaceful act, there is a method of violent expropriation. Violent expropriation occurs when I go to the news dealer and seize his newspapers or his money at the point of the gun. In this case, of course, there is no mutual benefit. I gain at the expense of the victimized news dealer. Yet the difference between these two transactions, between voluntary mutual exchange and the holdup at gunpoint, is precisely the difference between free market capitalism and state capitalism. In both cases, we obtain something, whether it be money or newspapers, but we obtain them in completely different ways, with completely different moral attributes and social consequences. How can, how, here, I can't resist the temptation of pointing out that I have entirely different interpretation of uh, Jefferson and Hamilton from that of Professor Averett. I don't regard Jefferson as some sort of early Franz Boas type, an early left-wing anthropologist? He wasn't. My reading of Jefferson is completely different. Uh, on my reading, Jefferson was a, a very precisely in favor of Les Fair, or free market capitalism, and that was the real argument between them. It wasn't that Jefferson was against factories or industries, per se. What he was against was coerced development that is taxing the farmers through tariffs and subsidies to build up an industry artificially, which is what essentially the Hamilton program was. I don't have time to finish the article for you. I wish I did, but uh, I'm going to put the link in the, in the post-show blog. 
and I'm going to give you the link here in the chat, but just bear in mind, when you hear capitalism, that you understand what capitalism is, what they're talking about. Because most of the time, people that are against capitalism are thinking of the state capitalism, not real, free market, let us fair capitalism. Anyway, we've got to play our last set here. <laughs> So uh, let, 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 let's get on with that <laughs> right here, right now, Samantha Fish. Yeah, Bama Lamb indeed. That is Black Betty from Ram Jam back in 1977. <clears throat> Before that, we heard a little... Uh, the story behind the song, thanks to Sock Puppet there, of Ram Jam and Black Betty. Yeah, so that was uh, very interesting stuff, in case you, uh, if you listen to what they had to say there about that, and the band, and the song, and uh, all that happened during the producing of that song. And we kicked it off with Samantha Fish doing uh, Heartbreaker, the Rolling Stones there. Um, great stuff. Uh, you know, I... I I don't know how you can go wrong with that. Anyway, um, that's going to wrap it up for us here tonight. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow you got the uh, dark table at noon Eastern with uh, Flash and Vin E. I'll be on um, Sunday at noon Eastern on RLM Radio, if you're right here, with uh, me, with the blues. And, and you'll be here listening to the blues and playing some trivia in the chat if you're up to it. And uh, then following me, immediately following me, is Hal Anthony behind the woodshed, opening up the big old can o whoop ass And uh, maybe we'll get another dark table on Tuesday. I don't know. We've had had a couple of them. We'll see. Uh, it's not a scheduled thing yet. So. Impromptu shows are awesome. What's that? Awesome. Impromptu shows are awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's not a scheduled thing yet. So we'll we'll see what happens hey. with that. But hey, then. You get a hair up your ass. You want to do a show? Do a show. Yeah. That's my motto. Absolutely. Thanks, Flash. Uh, Thank and, you, everyone. And uh, and then, yeah, just check the schedule for the rest there. Grammy, you know, normal time, da-da-da-da-da. Thank you, Circle. Thank you for the everything. Um, but, 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 anything else? Anything else? Uh, no, I think that's good. I think we're good. Okay. We're good. Peace. Peace.